In a city that sees a never-ending stream of visitors each day, it takes a lot for any newcomer to stand out. But then, this visitor is no ordinary guest. You know, I imagined it, but I never thought it would be this big. It's just, it's spectacular. Spectacular is this life-sized model of the successor to NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. Its home, temporarily, is New York City's Battery Park. When I first came in and I saw it, I thought it was a beehive because of the mirrors, how it looks and the colors. Not exactly a beehive, but an attention grabber nonetheless. What brings the model of the James Webb Space Telescope to the Big Apple is the World Science Festival. Nearly a week of science learning, not in the classrooms, but on the streets of New York. If we can get kids excited about science, that's fantastic. And if we get their parents excited, that's even better, because that, that they then help bring their kids to these kinds of events. Here, people have a unique chance to get up close and personal with a telescope that looks like no other before it. You've got to consider things differently when you want to put things in space, and that may end up looking very weird on Earth. It's nice how the kids and adults and parents see what it really looks like, even though it's a model. Sure, it's only a model, but it's also a great tool to show what's in the not-too-distant future. It's wonderful. Many tourists coming to New York, so it's a great exposure for the program. Just getting to know a little bit more about science and a little bit about the new innovations around you is really important. I'm glad to see that there's still progress being made and big projects being undertaken. A bold project to extend our future vision to the farthest frontiers of the universe. Thanks for joining us on this special edition of Behind the Web.